and it's a dramatical change that will make your world a lot better for hi so in this video we will look at exactly how you can speed up your own internet so first of all a little theory using the correct size mtu okay so when you do that the maximum transmission unit then you have potential of actually sending more data over your cable over the same amount of time compared to sending less data. That would actually speed up your connection. Now, most people probably have it preset. There is a chance that your router or your access point is going to preset that for you. And that is a setting sent directly to your configuration, your network configuration, on your computer now <clears throat> if your access point do not have that setting and i want to be honest mine does not and i did check it yesterday then the setting need to be changed on your computer and you have to change that setting on every single computer you have in order to get the extra speed so if you cannot access your router for some sort of well reason on why always try to do it on your computer instead but the best would of course be if you can change the actual setting on your router if your router is actually setting that setting for you then you should probably call your isp and ask for guidance if you cannot find it it is called the mtu the maximum transmission unit the image here is going to show you exactly what that is so the actual payload will just be bigger so you can send more data let's get right into this so let's open up a terminal window right here and i need some quick notes to the screen so first of all let's go ahead and just figure out well what is our maximum transmission unit so the way you can do that is to type in the net sh command and say i want to see all the interfaces on the ip version 4 for example I want to show sub interfaces. Now that's going to show you exactly what kind of different sub interfaces you have. And you can see that most of mine is set to 1500, which is actually the maximum. The MTU, once more, define the maximum size of package you can set. <clears throat> you can see that the local area connection 2 is set to a lower MTU. I don't know why that is, probably a good reason. It doesn't really matter too much to me because it's probably some of my network projects that I've connected to my computer at some point in time. The one we're going to particularly check for is the Ethernet. Now, the same goes for if you have a wireless connection, you would definitely need to go ahead and find your wireless connection in your list here and change the exact same thing you can follow this video exactly the same way and it will still give you the same results now just a word about wi-fi it is not something you can really tweak too much on because there's many different things about wi-fi and i want to create a different video for how you can optimize your wi-fi signal because in essence what we all want when we work with security and we download stuff is a bigger instant connection all right, so the one we're going to look at here is called the Ethernet connection. And if you see something different here than 1500, it basically means that it's a, big, a great chance that you can go ahead and increase this number and you can then actually gain some speed. Now, the way to find out the exact number of MTU units you can send, the maximum one, would to utilize the actual ping command you have already installed in your Windows computer. Now, the ping command is, is, is just a way for your computer to say hello to another computer, and it will respond back saying, hey, I'm here, and you can see something about time and IP addresses and so on. The basic way of doing it is say ping google.com, for example, and when I then press enter, you can see you get a reply. You're gonna send three ping, four ping packages in this particular example here, and you will get the IP address of the particular Google server that I found. Now, doing it one more time, sometimes give me a different Google server, but it's just the way it is. They change the server sometimes. Doesn't really matter this much. 
So what you can also see is the time, and it's at 20 milliseconds, which is a pretty good time as a response back. Okay, so we need to figure out this maximum MTU unit. And the way you're gonna do that is, for example, to say, well, I'm gonna send a a package now, and put in the flags FL, and type something like, let's say, a thousand. Now, I don't know your exact uh, MTU unit, Let's say, for example, what is, what is here is 750 or 500 or something, you know, it could be less than that. It could also be more than that. Hopefully it's no less than 750 because that would be kind of weird. Anyways, I just tried and say like, okay, let's, let's try set a, set a thousand, you know, and you can see with thousand bytes of data, I got a response back. Let's increase this, let's say 1200 then, and we're still getting reply back. This is the game you gotta play now. Send some size and see what you're gonna get back. You can also try and say, okay, I'm gonna go for lucky and say 2000. Okay, okay, you cannot do that because packet needs to be fragmented and this is just too much. So what you're gonna go ahead and see here is that you send four packages and you have 100% lost. And that is not the way to go. You want 100% uptime. So you're gonna go one back and say, maybe, maybe, maybe that was too much. You can also say, what about 1600? I mean 1600, 160, and that is still too much. And then you can try something like 1500, still too much. And you do 1400 and okay, so you can get up to 1400 right now, but in between 1400 and 1500 is gonna be your maximum. So you'll say 450, you probably already guessed it. And this is just me showing it to you. Your maximum would be 1500, but hey, you cannot directly send 1500 like this. If you do that, you can say, hey, but didn't you say 1500? And if you scroll up a bit here, you can see that it's set to 1500, yes. You need to have a small piece of slack in between, a small extra piece for the header. So what are you gonna go ahead and do and say that uh, minus uh, 28, which is uh, 1472, and that's gonna go ahead and give you a direct response. If you increase that by one, you will get the fragmented error. So 1472 is gonna be your maximum size package. And the way you're gonna look at this is now and gonna be quite funny because I just said you have to subtract it, but that's when you're testing it. So when you test for the actual maximum size, you subtract 28 and think this is what I should go with. Um, and when you're then adding it back, you're gonna add the 28 back, which basically means you're gonna add up to 1500, which is gonna result in exactly what you saw right here. So go ahead and put that value there to 1500. And the way you're gonna do that is, to do that, you need to enter it another command, but you need to have a command prompt in administrative mode. So go ahead and open the tab, type CMD, right click and say, run as administrator. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, <clears throat> the command you're gonna go ahead and type is quite similar to the other one. I need to zoom on this a bit so we can basically see fallout, fallout, yes. And everything is falling down. Let's zoom a bit, there we go. So go ahead and type in the command net sh int and then ip version four. And then say sat, set. <laughs> sub interface and it's gonna be important you type this correct ethernet which was the adapter that we concluded let's just go back so we can see what i mean ethernet is gonna be the interface name or that name whatever i call it and i'm gonna go ahead and set the mtu to 1500 and you're gonna store this as persistent now go ahead and press ok to that and then it's set what you can do now is, I'm just gonna go ahead and say clear and execute the same command as before. And we can see that it is now actually changed. So I know mine was always set to 1500, but you can go ahead and just, you know, check yours. And you can do, go ahead and do this. And if you do this, you will change your internet speed from exactly the, what you see the two different results on my screen right now is. And it's a dramatical change that will make your world a lot better for free extra internet speed. All right, so basically that's it for this video. Hope you like it, check it out and have a really nice day.